welcome back to a beer day with TK. It's Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to try a new beer. We went out yesterday, hit up Mod Craft Brewing, and then went through Finley Crafted. So now we're trying to recover late in the afternoon and have a, a nice new beer. So the beer we have today is called Feather Bar, and this is an Imperial Florida Weiss. What do you think about that, man? What in the world is a Florida Weiss? The only thing I can think is that Florida has stepped their game up and decided it's no longer a Berliner Weiss. It's a Florida Weiss, and they're seizing it as their own, right? Are, are we venturing into the horse blanket territory? <laughs> <laughs> possibly. <laughs> possibly. Um, this beer sounds kind of interesting. Where'd you get this? You got this one at this Rosie's as well? I picked this up as Rosie's at Rosie's also. Now, what's cool about this beer, it actually has a date on the bottom when it was canned, and it says July the 2nd. And I went to the website. This is a, a collaboration brew between Modest Brewing in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Jay Wakefield Brewing in Miami, Florida. Uh, when I went to the website for Modest, it had like a release calendar of when this beer, it had the can, and then had the date of for like all the different I guess all the liquor stores, and then down the bottom it just said like Ohio and other states, but Ohio just said TBD. Um, you know, so I guess we know when that TBD is because you picked it up Friday. Friday. Picked it up Friday. Yeah, so this has probably only been on the, the I guess, the shelves for a couple weeks, and then Ohio only for a couple of days. Um, so I, like I said, this is Modest Brewing and Jay Wakefield. I'm trying to think. I don't know if we've had anything from these guys before. I don't think I've ever heard of either one of these breweries. Yeah, it's an odd collaboration too, right? I mean, you have somebody from Minnesota and then somebody with, you know, from South Florida. So I mean, right. that's that's quite a distance there. Um, I went to, like I said, I looked at the websites. It was pretty cool. The other day, I was complaining about some brewery's website where they had no information on the beers. It was just super. You know, I, I can't fathom that not having information about your own beers on your website. Well, you know the crazy thing. I forget what brewery it was. Two or three videos ago, when you went there, you could click on beer and it would bring up like what you could buy. But there's only like four things that they could ship. And, like, literally had no information. They had all kinds of other stuff, like ancillary material that you probably don't need, but didn't have the one critical piece of information. kind of threw me off. I mean, I mean the entire um, part of your business is beer. Yeah. And you don't yeah. have that product on your website. Yeah. It's just kind of bizarre. Yeah, these guys, on the other hand, I went to the, the modest one. They had a good site. Like, you could click on each beer, gave you the rundown, what it is, the stats on it. I think it even had all the malts and hops and all that stuff that was used. And then the release date, like, for all the places you can get it. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of variation there. So this one here is 7.2% ABV. It is billed as brewed with malted barley and wheat, then conditioned on massive amounts of passion fruit, pineapple, and prickly pear. Try to say that three times quickly. What, we did another beer a while ago, way back. I think when you first started this channel, it had prickly pear in it. Yeah. Well, I think the was, first one I ever saw was a Shiner one was ages it, ago. Was it that Einstock beer? It might have been. That, the juni was it Juniper and prickly pear? Or was something that the Juniper? Like, I mean, I could be wrong, but I believe that. Because you did the picture of it with the uh, cactus. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. Um, pineapple. I, I like the taste of pineapple. Passion fruit. It's a little sweet for me. Um, prickly pear. I'm not still not even sure what the hell that's supposed to taste like. Nor am I. But I guess we'll, we'll figure it out. My, I'm guessing this is going to be like a Berliner Weiss, right? Like slightly tart. No, it's a Florida Weiss. I, it's much different. <laughs> So I'm guessing it's going to be similar, similar, but far superior, right, as it's a Florida so, so the flavors we should expect are suntan lotion and sand, right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Let's check it out, man. All right. Oh, that's That's a, not what I expected the color to be. Nor I. I thought it would be more along the lines of a, a pineapple juice kind of color. Yeah. That's, not this. That's a, like a ruby color, man. Yeah. Let's see if I can pour these somewhat evenly. Not too bad. And the good old mason jars? The mason jars are kind of sweet because they have the hash marks on the side so you can break them up a little bit easier. Looks like I got a wee bit more head on this one here, but about even, huh? Color? I don't even know what you call this. I'm looking at the chart here. Um, and I don't even think it's really any of these colors. I mean, no, it is like a ruby red. Yeah, it's kind of like amber, but more reddish to it. The head. I got a decent amount, probably two fingers worth here. It looks nice, white, frothy. I got about a finger. I was trying. A lot of times when you get these fruited beers, sometimes the head will have like a, a you know, like a, a hue to it, like some of the color right. picks up in it. But I don't really think this does. I think it's just white. Yeah, white. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. You can smell fruit. Yeah, I can't say I can pick out any of those. Distinct. I think you pick up a bit of pineapple and then just some other. You know, it smells like fruit punch almost. Or you can pick yeah, up pineapple, yeah. but you know it's not just that. There's other stuff going on. Yeah, definitely like a fruit punch kind of. It's weird. When I first took that whiff, it was kind of like funky. 
and then it kind of like I don't know sweetened up or something like um, Anderson and I used to work in the bar together many years ago remember when you'd have the little pineapple cans oh yeah poured a can and the can always had that kind of like funky pineapple smell yeah, that's kind of that's, what, that's what I think it, it, it smells like it's not a pleasant smell but it doesn't like affect the beer and it kind of but it's not really that offensive smell. No, it's just kind no. of. But it's not like like pineapple juice itself. I think is really nice and tastes nice and I don't mind the smell. But when you get into the can, it smells like a little bit like a little bit funky. I wonder if that's the, the, the acidity. Yeah, it could be. Uh, interacting with the metal of the can. Well, you ever notice they're always in those thick cans too, right? They weren't in like regular aluminum. Like they're in like a like can like a you know a hard can. Um, I don't know what it is. As opposed to a soft can. Well, I mean something like this, right? It's quite quite fair enough. Those ones are like kind of rigid, man. All right, that's enough smelling it. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, bro. Cheers. I like that. I like it. It's. It has a nice tartness to it. I don't know if you, you can pick it up, but we said this with the beer the other day after we drank the, the one we did yesterday. Like yeah, I, I was announce it. It was dry, and my mouth was just like like the lip smacking thing. It feels like you're doing the same thing here. I know. So we both took the sip, and you're both like. Right. Yeah. You're not going to try to pronounce that beer name no, again? Absolutely not. If you <laughs> haven't saved on the phone the pronunciation thing. I saw, I, I posted it up on the video and I was looking at it. I said, I don't even know what any of these words are, right? It's right. It is what it is. Uh, I think this is good. It's kind of got an interesting taste to it. Um, I like the tartness. It's not super tart or super, I'd say it's tart, not sour. And again, Berliner Weiss shouldn't be super sour. It should just have that, and, sorry, Florida Weiss should just be slightly sour. You're not supposed to have that huge you know it's the I, huge sourness to it I, I think you do pick up the passion fruit and the pineapple and there is something else in there that yeah. i assume is must be the prickly pear again that's kind of out of my wheelhouse of flavors so i'm not sure but what i do like about this it's very sweet is it is it i've never I, I think i got it served to me once like a cactus leaf when i was in mexico they served me some food and come with like the cactus thing i thought like what the heck is this i didn't know what it was and people started eating it and i was just like <laughs> I'm cool. I'm just going to eat the steak. I don't need to eat the cactus. I didn't. I didn't realize it was like a food thing. Um, but I guess you know. Obviously, people eat it, brew with it, do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, what I do like about this is the passion fruit's not over the top. It's not cloyingly sweet. No, not at all. And it kind of has a really nice balance between the tartness and that sweetness. And I think, you, like you said, you can pick up the pineapple. You pick up the passion fruit. There's something else. And again, as I'm not super familiar with the prickly pear, maybe that's what it is. Um, it almost tastes like a berry kind of of taste to me but I, I like it i think it's really good i'm surprised um i, I like berliner weisses so i guess i shouldn't be super surprised but um you know when i heard all those fruits it's like uh, this could go one of two ways this can either be really good or this can be so sweet that you don't like it anymore uh, i think this is a pretty bummy beer yes i've definitely done a very good job of this light body has a nice texture to it the fruits come through you get that little bit of, of tartness and you can get it in your mouth but it's not like gross sourness um, I know a lot of people are put off by the super sour beers. The one we had yesterday, I think, was super sour. And if you're not a fan, probably not for you. This, on the other hand, is something that, even if you're not a huge aficionado of sours, you could get down with this, especially on a nice summer day. I saw my man uh, Shane up in Canada in the pool drinking a sa uh, sour, and it made me think this would be perfect for something like that. If we're just chilling on a hot day. What, instead of sweating out in the shed? Yes, instead of sweating away in the shed like <laughs> idiots that don't have a fan. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I need to get a solar panel or something to get this place, get a, a fan or something going in here, man. So, Feather Bar, Imperial Florida Weiss, gets a thumbs up. Absolutely, big thumbs I up. definitely this. have another one of these. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you ever had an Imperial Florida Weiss? If so, let me know what you think of it, man. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.